हेलो स्टूडेंट्स आई एम डॉक्टर विनोद कुमार आडवाणी फ्रॉम डिपार्टमेंट ऑफ कॉमर्स द भोपाल स्कूल ऑफ सोशल साइंसेस डियर स्टूडेंट टुडे वी आर गोइंग टू डिस्कस यूनिट नंबर फाइव फ्रॉम द कॉर्पोरेट अकाउंटिंग दिस इज रिलेटेड विद कॉर्पोरेट फाइनेंशियल रिपोर्टिंग कॉर्पोरेट फाइनेंशियल रिपोर्टिंग इज वन ऑफ द मेजर पार्ट ऑफ फाइनेंशियल रिपोर्टिंग सिस्टम दिस सिस्टम इज यूज टू communicate the informations the data from the company to its shareholder from the management of the company to its shareholder let's understand this particular topic under these five subdivided topics first we will cover the introduction of corporate financial reporting what is the corporate financial reporting after that we will start the concept of corporate financial reporting after that we will look at the need or objectives of corporate financial reporting why corporate financial reporting is required after that we will learn about the users of corporate financial reporting corporate financial reporting is for which type of groups external users and external users we will discuss about the users of corporate financial reporting finally we will look the components or the disclosures or the parts of the corporate financial reporting which type of information which matter which report we have to disclose under corporate financial reporting let's start student with the first topic that is introduction of corporate financial reporting corporate financial reporting involves disclosure of all the type of financial informations related with the company and that is for the communication to the stakeholders of the corporation this particular information is related with the performance and position of the company for a particular period of time yes time is the major element of corporate financial reporting each report have a particular time for example a quarter or a year or 6 month means a half year this particular information required for investors creditors public and debt providers along with the government and government agencies all these users all these users interested in the corporate financial reporting made by a corporate entity means a company now what is the concept of corporate financial reporting yes corporate financial reporting is the process of the documentation and communication of financial and non financial activities and the performance of the company for a specific time period generally quarterly or yearly basis companies companies used to corporate financial reporting to communicate all their data all their progress all their informations to the shareholders creditors banks government through corporate financial reporting it means corporate financial reporting is just like a bridge between the management of the company and stakeholders through this bridge company make contact with their shareholders and stakeholder by providing them necessary data and information related with the operations of the company internal as well as the external now come to the next topic we are now starting objectives of corporate financial reporting why corporate financial reporting requires what is the use of corporate financial reporting what is the need of corporate financial reporting dear students we will divide this particular objective part in two sub parts or sub categories we have first of all primary objectives of corporate financial reporting and second we will look at the secondary objects of corporate financial reporting now the question is what is primary objectives these objectives compulsory to be fulfill by the reporting under corporate finance and secondary objectives these are other objectives to be achieved with help of corporate financial reporting let's look 
one by one. First of all, primary objective. Here we have the list of primary objectives of this type of reporting. First of all, monitor of income and expenditure. Yes, company makes its operation throughout the year or throughout the quarter. How you can communicate the result of your operation to the stakeholder? Simple. That is through the statement of profit and loss account. Means with the display of profit and loss, shareholders, stakeholders, users can estimate, can monitor the incomes and expenses of a company. So, monitor of income and expenditure is the major primary objective of corporate financial reporting. Next, we have ensure regulatory compliances. Ensure regulatory compliances means the disclosures, the information given in the corporate financial reporting is legal information, mandatory information that is required for the government and government authorities. So, by this particular disclosure, company ensures that company is following all the government rules, provisions and laws and that is also disclosed mention in the corporate financial reporting come to the next point support financial analysis and decision making yes it is very important primary objective with the help of data information financial statements disclosed in the corporate financial reporting the management and other experts can make the financial statement analysis and that is also useful to take any particular decision for the future of the corporation of the company. So, amount data figures available in corporate financial reporting helps in the analysis and also the decision making. Last primary objective we have communicates essential information and data. The presentation, the preparation of corporate financial reporting is for, is for communicating all these information to the stakeholders. So, providing all the information, giving all the information, communicating all the information to the stakeholder is also main objective of corporate financial reporting. Without communication, there will be lots of lots of rumors about the companies but in this particular segment company clarify all the rumors and all the facts presented in this particular reporting now we are moving to secondary objectives other objective first of all performance of the management yes the data given in the corporate financial reporting definitely gives clear picture of the performance of the management during the last particular period can be year can be quarter but it is the clear clear picture of the performance of the management in the reporting next enhancing social welfare yes in corporate financial reporting company highlights its social work also this will help the social welfare increase corporate social responsibility of the company that is that is shown in the corporate financial reporting also this reporting help us help public to know what are the social works what are the social welfare measures taken by the company next we have decision regarding investment and credit by looking the corporate financial reporting various segments of corporate financial reporting the investors the money lenders take their decision whether we have to invest in this company or not whether we have to give the particular money or any loan to this company or not data analysis available in corporate financial reporting help them a lot to take the decision regarding investment in a particular company and making credit available to this particular company last we have information to the management this reporting work as a tool to give information to the management it is a comprehensive report in which management can get each and every useful each and every 
useful information regarding the company and its operations. Dear friends, next section, we are moving towards the users of corporate financial reporting. Who is looking at the corporate financial reporting or we can say who are the users of this particular reporting, who needs corporate financial reporting. First of all, naturally, shareholders are the major users of corporate financial reporting. Why shareholders are interested in this reporting? The simple reason is shareholders are the owners of the company, so they want to know each and every matter regarding their company because they invest millions of rupees in this particular company. So naturally they have a right to get all the data in form of corporate financial reporting. Next, potential investors. Yes, these are the external users also looking at this particular reporting. Why? With the help of this reporting, they get the necessary information that is required to make investment in a particular company or not to make any particular investment in the company. For example, with the corporate financial reporting, we get all the financial statement and with the view of financial statement, they can analyze and take the decision regarding investment or no investment. Next, management. Yes, the major user of the corporate financial reporting. Management of company is looking at the reporting for taking various decision and analysis regarding the operations of company. Creditors. Yes, with the help of corporate financial reporting data, creditors will consider a new loan to the company, a new amount sanctioned to the company or no amount to be sanctioned to this company looking at the financial position of the company with the help of this reporting. Next user we have unions and employees. Unions and employees also interested in this reporting because they will get all the details regarding their wages, salaries and other remuneration distributed by the company. Next user is industry consumer. Industry consumer can get better information in financial reporting regarding the products of the company, regarding the prices of the company, regarding their cost and regarding their profit margins. So consumers will aware the operations of the company regarding cost, profit and selling price with the help of this reporting. Last, government and government agencies. Government and government agencies are also looking at the reporting because they want to know the tax collected by the company, tax paid by the company and the legal formalities followed by the company. So government is also interested in the corporate financial reporting. Dear friends, now we are moving towards the last topic of this session. This is components or parts or content or subject matter of corporate financial reporting. What is included in the corporate financial reporting? What we have to disclose under corporate financial reporting? What's supposed to shown in the corporate financial reporting? First of all, the financial statement. Yes, major part of the corporate financial reporting, financial statements means what? We have three statement as per, as per our company sector 2013. First of all, the balance sheet. Second, statement of profit and loss. And the third is cash flow statement of companies. These three financial statements and along with all the notes we have to display compulsory mandatory in corporate financial reporting. So financial statements along with notes to accounts or you can say schedules of account is mandatory part, compulsory part of corporate financial reporting. Next we have quarterly or annually reports. Yes, in case of Indian listed companies, it is mandatory to show the financial statement 
एट द एंड ऑफ एवरी क्वार्टर एज वेल एज एट द एंड ऑफ एवरी ईयर At the end of every quarter, company is is required to display their income statement and position statement. And at the end of the year, along with financial statement, they have to file annual report of the company also. Next, we have management discussion and analysis on the basis of the entire financial year's operation. the management of the company the directors of the company makes analysis of the operations of the company performance of the company through the financial statements and other data and information available they analyze and discuss regarding the performance of the company on the various parameters with this particular analysis this particular decision they they involved in the growth of the company development of the company by making certain decisions so in corporate financial reporting the discussion and the analysis of the management is also required last we have the report of board or the report of the directors of the company all the members of the board of the company all the directors of the company are compulsory required to file a report at the end of the year on the performance of the company this particular report involved each and every matter related with company's operation during the financial year this particular report also look at the future prospects growth opportunity and challenges of the company this report is known as directors report or board's report so this is also part of corporate financial reporting in india so dear student in this particular section we covered five topics in all first we learn introduction to corporate financial reporting next we learn the concept of corporate financial reporting third we have the objectives of corporate financial reporting next we learn about the users and finally we look at the components of corporate financial reporting i think now all of you have a better knowledge of corporate financial reporting the basics of this particular reporting system in india thank you dear students